This video is titled Old Man Walking Around Kyoto. Alright, we are at a bus stop and we're going to be using our Suica. My Suica is attached to my phone. If you have an iPhone, you can easily add your Suica to your phone. Not for Android unless the Android was made in Japan, unfortunately, that's what we figured out. If you're in Tokyo, definitely pick up a Suica card because as far as we know, it's the only one that can be linked to your phone, which is way awesome because you can see exactly how far you progressed on a trip, you can see your history, and you can easily charge it right on the phone. This is not our bus, but we will be getting on momentarily. There's a little green light on the top of the door. That's where we're gonna tap our phone or your card. We are waiting for the 207. We're just gonna ride it for one stop. We could probably just walk there, but we wanna have the experience of riding the bus, so we'll do that. All right, here we go. We were getting on on the getting off spot. Also, we were on the wrong door. So this button right here, it says Tomarimas, it means they will stop. If you want to stop, you just push this button. Normally in the big city, everyone's stopping at every stop. But if you're in a bus with not a lot of people, you want to make sure there's this. Or older buses might have a rope going across that you pull down. Buses. Chances you got that zero, right? Zero that? I got a little. All right, so here's what we learned. You got to get on the back of the bus. My idea was like a train where you tap in and then you tap out, but no, this is one price, at least for Kyoto. Every city's going to have a different system, I'm assuming. Some systems, at least 20 years ago, which I imagine these systems still exist, you'd pull a little paper ticket, and then at the end, that ticket number would determine how much you would pay. Because it was so long ago, I imagine they've changed it, but it's very possible in the country because they don't have the money to upgrade their system that they're still using an older system. Regardless, I was able to use my phone on the way out, one tap. So if you're in Tokyo area and you're traveling to other areas, make an effort to get a Suica card, not any other type of card, because that's the only one that can go into your iPhone. Also, if you have an Android, throw it in the river and get an iPhone, because they're better. Androids are shit. All right, we're on the escalator here in the Takashimaya. I just actually added 2,000 yen to my Suica card, but we're gonna do it again just to show you how. Once it's inside of your Apple wallet, you just click add money, you put an amount, I'm gonna put 500 yen, click the add button up there. Of course, you have to have a credit card already established in your Apple Pay. Here we go, give it a second. Done. Now my balance should go up to 2,900 here in a second. Excitement, boom. That's all because we have a Suica card. If you did Ikoka, not gonna happen. If you have an Android, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> now we head to McDonald's. Not that McDonald's there, Mike. No. No? All right. No. Okay, I'm not into Chinese food, but wow. This is a cool Chinese restaurant. It's almost like they took over some sort of old like embassy or church or something. Okay, that's cool. You can just be out here. Or you can be like uber tired and just fall asleep right there. It looks like he pissed his pants too even. Yeah, he spilled his beer. I thought he pissed his pants. Oh my god. He partied way too hard here at the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> In other words, right? Yep. Sinatra? Yep. Is it all of me? All no, of no, me. No. Wait. Nanti. 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 My name is George? No, it's Tiao. Title. 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 Um, fly me to the moon. Yes. I'm being ping pong. Fly me to the moon. Ping pong. I should just start singing over there. You dare me? I dare you. I won't. You're good. I don't want you to. Hey, they have a book off. Sure, one of the seriously one of the greatest stores ever if you're looking to buy manga and you don't want to pay full price just go to a book off because the japanese people have read them they just sell them cheap there i didn't see where it was did you see where it was no nope. i don't know i'm always lost damn it 
That's the one I was talking about. Maybe we can go to do this one at night. Fushimi Inari Taisha. I only went there once in my entire life. You know the big problem with going to Fushimi Inari at night? Mm. We don't have lights. Oh yeah. And I didn't true. bring my lights with me. I want to cross over here. Either side looks good, but that side for some reason looks better. Because you know what they say, the grass on the other side is always greener. Is there grass over there? Well, here's a place I've never seen before. It might be Hachisaka Jinja based on the kanji. Eight Hills Temple. Yasaka, Yasaka, sorry. Yasaka. Yasaka. Yasaka Shrine. Do you want to go in, Mike? Maybe after we eat. Or God, I'm okay. so hungry. Hey, right, let's go this way and see if we can find some food. Hey, welcome to the Kyoto tour where we do nothing like going to shrines. We're not going into any shrines the entire trip. We're going to show you every part of Kyoto that is not a shrine. <laughs> I know you complain about my smile, but I'm working on it. Ready? Because I have braces, now I can smile. So it's like... But I haven't smiled in a long time. I'd be, I'd be like... That was my smile. Now I, I have straighter teeth, so it's like... Is that weird? Weird? No, I mean, that's right. amazing. Any interesting information about this machine? This is a Jido Hanbaiki, which means automatic, automatic sales device. Back in the old days, a man used to be inside and he would put the money in, he would count the change, make sure that you had it, and then he would push the drink out based on what number you told him. That was called a Shudo Hanbaiki, a manual sales machine or a store. When I was younger, they used to have like a game and there'd be like a little, maybe we'll see it in the countryside where you could win another drink. It was kind of cool. It was like a lottery system. You could win another drink. Sometimes if you're lucky, you could win other people's change when they forgot it too. We just found a reptile cafe. I think we should go in. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds good. I see some reptiles. Really, that was really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that. We still haven't eaten. No, we haven't. After all this effort. All right, let's go. It looks like just a pizza place. You want to do just pizza or you want to try yes, that? Yes, I'm fine. Well, I would get a margarita. That's my style. Margarita sounds good. All right, let's do it. That was right. good. That was oh, good. it was really good. So, so you're thinking, McDonald's apple pie? Hell no. no not yet. No. Too early. Too early. No, we were gonna keep going this way. Oh. Here, let me look it up. Cause I don't know where the frick we are. Where the frick are we? I see what's that. Kiyomizu Dera. This is one. This auto closes, right? Yes. Zibun kirei na taxi desu ne. Futsu yori kirei. Are you a taxi? Yes. Alright, so we're going to go to Yasaka Jinja because he thinks that the other place will be closed. This place is still lit up, so we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. Alright, cool. Let's go. Let's go. That was when I put it up on their Instagram. Oh yeah? Yeah. The lizard place guy asked if he could put it up on Instagram. Uh, Do you want to walk the whole way back? We can, yeah. Let's try. Alright. And the sirens? It's very dynamic. Here's an interesting thing. Japanese QQ uh, shop ambulances can't run the red lights. Unless they change that law. It used to be they had to wait at a red light. And cars won't instinctively pull aside for them. Like in America, we have to do it. And it's a huge fine if you don't. Not the case here. Same in uh, 
I think the same thing in China when I was there. It's like they're just going so slow. I'm like, these people are dying, and they're just like obeying all of the traffic laws. In America, you can go on the other side of the street and go, and you can break all the traffic rules for an uh, ambulance. Not here though. All right, well that's it. We had a fun day uh, in Kyoto. Hope you guys all enjoyed too. In the comments below, let me know what you thought, and let me know what you did when you were in Kyoto. Bye. All right, guys. First of all, you've heard me talk about McDonald's a lot. And the reason why I love Japanese McDonald's is they have the old style apple pies. It's crispy. It's the old crispy apple pies. They're amazing. Also, something miraculous just happened. A Japanese man actually broke the rules. And I said, could you do it with a cola zero? And he did. So thank you. Thank you.